Local 10 News starts right now. Right now, Fast Eddie, the family of a man who was carjacked and murdered in his own apartment complex nearly two years ago, speaking for the first time after winning their wrongful death suit. They claim this tragedy could have been avoided if the apartment complex had proper security measures in place. Local 10 Crime Specialist Bridget Matter is joining us live. She's in Lauder Hill with the details on this. Bridget. So this family, they're not only blaming the three men accused in the murder of their loved one, they're placing blame on the apartment complex, saying not enough security measures were in place that may have prevented this murder. In 2022, Dimitri Ramirez was murdered at this Lauder Hill apartment complex. He was walking to his car in the parking lot to head to work when armed men carjacked him. He came face to face with the criminals in the process of stealing his car, which led him to being shot and killed. He was shot and killed, leaving behind two little girls and his family devastated. His sister, Isabella Lubin. He was hardworking, determined. So much so that he could sell water to a well. Ramirez's family felt the Windward Vista apartments did not have enough security measures in place to protect Dimitri in the first place. They filed suit and through their own investigation found many other neighbors claiming they were victims of crimes themselves. It was far too easy to meet somebody that says, oh, I had a crime happen to me or I had my car broken into, or I know somebody that had been robbed or someone had been burglarized. The Haggard law firm is representing the family and say the complex did not have adequate security plans or enough protections for tenants, allowing for dangerous conditions on the property. Lauderhill police arrested three men. One was arrested just this month. The family did settle for a $21 million lawsuit, winning a negligent security wrongful death suit. As far as the criminal case is concerned, that's very much still pending. We're live in Lauderhill, Bridget Matter, Local 10 News. Hopefully the family finds closure. All right, thank you, Bridget.